All right, I want to talk about today about uh, having some external links, uh, linking to external data uh, from web pages, and putting several different ones on a spreadsheet. And I'm going to show you a nice little way to organize them so you can get to them quickly. Uh, what I did is I went to uh, Yahoo Sports and I just went to college uh, football and I went to stats and I linked to the individual leaders passing, rushing, receiving, returns, punting, and defense. Okay, I just went here and uh, of course I copied the link and I put all these stats in the spreadsheet uh, uh, by going to insert and link to external data and uh, and I created, created links to these so my spreadsheet would uh, stay up to date and you can see that here if I go to edit links here's all the different links that I have okay and that's for the different uh, stats the passing the rushing receiving returns punting and defense I did each of those separately uh, I have a video you can check out one of my other videos uh, it goes over about it goes over how to link to external data and update it so I'm not going to go over that in this video uh, check that out if you want to know a little more about that but let's say we wanted to look at the stats on defense or something well you see here we have sortable stats these are the passing stats and if we scroll down then we come to the rushing stats and then the receiving stats the returns the punting and then finally the defense well let's just I mean you don't want to uh, have to scroll down to find whatever particular stats you're looking for so uh, what I want to show you is we can come over here and you select right below this heading here okay this will be the main heading and we want to select down all the way down to the last entry under the passing stats and then we go over here to data group and outline and group okay and then do the same thing for the rushing click right under sortable stats rushing then scroll down to the last name and we'll go to data group and outline group and then receiving we'll do the same thing for each different group and then we'll do punting go to group and outline group and then last and finally defense go to data group and outline group alright so let's come over here and scroll back up to the top and you see this little minus this right here retracts it pulls all the data up and you can expand it and collapse it expand it collapse it if it has a plus beside it, you can click the plus, that means it's going to expand it. And the little minus means you, when you click it, it's going to uh, collapse it. And we can do that for each one. Okay. And you can see that we have them all right here now, what we want to, uh, all of our different uh, stats that we're keeping up with. So if you open your spreadsheet and you want to look at returns, you just come over to the uh, returns, click it, and it expands just the returns and you don't have to go looking for it. And if we want to look at the defense, we can click it. 
okay, or the receiving. Uh, so that's a neat little way to keep your uh, spreadsheet neat. Uh, you don't have to uh, scroll down, especially if you have several uh, different stats you're keeping up with. But like I said, if you want to learn how to bring the stats into your spreadsheet and and update them also from your spreadsheet, then check out my other video uh, about linking to external data. I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks.